Coming into your YouTube airwaves, it's Vaughn, the Stat Man, and welcome to the Stat Room. Woo! Good morning out there, and welcome to the Stat Room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so before I get into this video, guys, let me introduce myself. Guys, I am Vaughn the Stat Man. You can follow me on Twitter, at Vaughn the Stat Man, and guys, check out the website, VaughnTheStatMan.com. All right, guys, so the Western Conference Finals is set. The Los Angeles Clippers, they came back from a 25-point deficit to overcome those great odds to go on and beat Utah. And if anybody had their doubt about my favorite player and anybody who's been following me know that Paul George and Jimmy Butler are my two favorite players. And my third favorite player is Kawhi Leonard. He's not in this game. So, of course, I was really thrilled because I seen Paul George do these type of performances when he was with Indiana. So shout outs to Paul George. And also I want to give a big shout out to um, Donovan Mitchell. His press game conference and Kevin Durant's is what I always wanted to see from an NBA star. Just give the other team credit. They made their adjustments and they played well. All right, so that's it, guys. So let's go into the two game slate today. All right, on today's slate, guys, the one glaring thing that jumps out to me immediately is Chris Paul is not playing. And when I look at the, the, the games today, and I look at the teams that are remaining. The teams that are remaining, you have two stars that don't have egos. What I mean by egos is, is that they don't feel like they have to just shoot the ball because they haven't shot it in two or three possessions. Give an example, Paul George, he doesn't have an ego. If you look at the game when they beat the when they beat Utah, Turns Man was hot. Paul George didn't have an ego. He's never had an ego. And he's like, Chris Mann is hot. He kept feeding man. Reggie Jackson was hot. He kept feeding Reggie Jackson. Batum was hot. He kept feeding them. He didn't really shoot the ball that much in the um, fourth quarter or in the third quarter. He made layups and putbacks, but for the most part, he didn't have an ego. When I look at Phoenix, Chris Paul also doesn't have an ego. Chris Paul will come down like, man, I just want to get 15 assists. I'll get 14, 15 points, and I'm happy with that. He doesn't feel like he has to shoot the ball. If he doesn't shoot the ball in four possessions, he has to force a shot. He shoots the ball when he sees the offense is in flux. When they're not scoring, then Chris Paul takes it upon himself to be the best point guard in the NBA that I believe he is, and he'll score and take over the game. Now, when I look at Atlanta, it's all on Chris. It's all on Young. Young has to score, and... Not that he has an ego, but today they're going to probably be without Bogdanovich. Um, I like Herter in his matchup. I think he's going to be phenomenal. But um, Young, I can't really say whether he has an ego or not because he has to score. But then when I look at Philly, Embiid has an ego. I, 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 don't, I don't think that Embiid is going to go six times or five times down the floor without taking a shot. He's just a guy where he's like, I got to shoot it. I got to shoot it. And I don't know whether it's the same premise where, you know, Philly feels like without him be shooting it, you know, he kind of has to shoot it. And the reason why I'm not a big fan of Philly winning a championship is you can't have a 6'10 point guard afraid to shoot the ball. In my personal opinion, Ben Simmons, if if I was the, the 76ers, I would I would let Ben Simmons play off the bench because he is not shooting the ball and you can't have a point guard that will not shoot the ball. I would let Shea Milton start. Milton, to me, gives him a better chance to win. If you, if you think about it, and he doesn't shoot free throws well. So he won't shoot the ball, and he don't shoot free throws well. So in the games online, you foul Ben Simmons, Philly lose. All right, so now let's go break down this slate. All right, today, I think Young is going to put up 50 points again. I don't see how Phil Simmons can't stop, stop him. He doesn't have to. He, I'm looking at it, and Young is just giving him all kind of fits. So they're, they're putting... Thibel on him, and, and Thibel is a great defender. Thibel's a little bit better, but I just think that the most unguardable player in the Atlanta Philly series is Young, so I do like him to put up about 50. But guys, um, I wouldn't even consider Simmons. Now, this, this would be the day where Simmons might get 40 fantasy points, but I'm willing to say, look, Simmons, if you get 40, then fine. But he's 7,800, and from what I've seen from a guy that don't want to shoot, can't make free throws, if he doesn't get you 15 assists and 12 rebounds and 10 points, he's not going to make value. So if you believe he'll get 15 assists and 
10 rebounds and 10 points then runs him um guys i'm gonna I'm do a, a full lineup today guys i'm doing reggie jackson and i'm doing pain with with if you look at Payne's numbers he, he played 13 minutes and got 10 points 17 minutes and got 18 points he's gonna play 40 minutes guys he might get you 40 him and reggie because Payne is not gonna be able to stop reggie jackson so the only fear about the clippers is that it, they, they, they played 36 hours ago but the advantage for the clippers is that it's a 45 minute flight if anybody has flown from los angeles to phoenix it's about 45 minutes i've flown from phoenix to la on a big jumbo jet plane and they're on these lear jets that's probably a 30 35 minute flight so they had all day saturday to rest without chris paul reggie jackson is not going to be challenged by pain he's stronger than pain and pain is more of a finesse player he's not a physical player but reggie jackson is physical and finesse so i think that's going to be a great matchup now at the shooting guard position um you got to choose which you do you want paul george or do you want young that's basically when it comes to the, the ten thousand dollar players which one do you want i think paul george is gonna get 10 rebounds and 10 assists because like i said he has no ego what i love about this clipper team since Kawhi has gone out i've seen the ball move it's popping now it's like when Kawhi was in you know he's such a good one-on-one -on -one player oh it's the same like when you look at brooklyn brooklyn is a great you know have a great player in kevin durant so when he gets the ball he scores so the ball sticks when he gets to durant he makes two three dribbles and scores Kawhi's the same way so i'm giving you paul george and devin booker is going to have to the score i also like carrie in this matchup um so i'm gonna give you devin booker now i'm gonna go down and i'm giving you joel and b that's the only player that i want from this game so now at the small forward position i'm gonna go and give you batoon and then i'm gonna give you cameron johnson just for the salary saving purposes and then at the the small forward i'm gonna give you guys crowder and actually guys i'm gonna take devin booker off because i think devin booker and Kyrie gets about the same amount and if i do that then i'm able to get morris so this is the lineup guys you got reggie jackson you got Payne, you got paul george you got Kyrie, you got cameron cameron johnson batoon morris crowder and mb and that's how I'm going to run it, guys. So that's it. And B, Crowder, Morris, Platoon, Cameron Johnson, Kari, George, Payne, and Jackson. All right, guys. So that's it, guys. I am on to break down the rest of this later. If you made it this far, guys, please smash that like button. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to me already, hit that subscribe button. And also share this video and comment what you think of my interpretations of these two games and my breakdown. Just give me some feedback. All right, guys, so that's it, guys. I am going to break down the rest of the slate. So, guys, don't forget to win-win. That means give people what they want so you can get what you want. And, guys, don't forget to think in ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. All right, thanks for watching the video, ladies and gentlemen. And if you want to be a stat, remember, hit that subscribe button and also share this video. Thank you, and welcome to the stat room.